Ciao. Hola. Thank you for stopping by once again and visiting me and all my friends today. We will read the book Birdie and Fishy Destination Freedom and I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time there was a little and lonely goldfish. She lived in a tiny crystal fishbowl in a loveless and tastelessly decorated three-bedroom apartment in Zurich, Switzerland. Fishy's life was pretty boring. She was stuck in a bowl for the whole while and every day was the same. She woke up early in the morning where her, when her owner woke up and she went back to sleep when her owner went to bed. The lady was working in a government office and she pretty much hated her job. So you can imagine her mood in the morning, not so pleasant. She never looked at Fishy when she gave her some food before she left for work. She did everything like a robot, without taking notice of anything or anyone around her. Probably because she was constantly looking at her phone, even though her phone never rang and she had no one to talk to. But for some reason that was a mystery to Fishy, she was always writing things and using a bluebird on her mobile. At least when she did this, she had a smile on her face, which happened rarely. This lady was such a miserable person, all in all, that she didn't have friends and family members visiting her. It was probably because she was a stingy and self-centered person. She didn't do anything for anyone if there was nothing in return for her. She was careless and even struggled to change fishes' bowl water regularly because there was nothing in it for her. In return. I wonder why she had bought Fishy in the first place. I guess Fishy was just a gift to her, maybe by someone who hoped that she would learn to care for something else beside herself. Fishy in the book. Poor Fishy. No wonder Fishy was so unhappy. You wonder how the story continues? All I can tell is it's going to have a happy ending, thanks to a special someone, Birdie. By the way, this book is available in English, German, Italian and Spanish. You can get your copy on Amazon. I hope you will get it, read it and enjoy it. Until next time, I say bye bye, auf Wiedersehen, ciao and adios.